Hello, my sweet YouTubers. I hope you're all fine and doing ad fab. Well, today is all about 50 shades of gray. Because you know, everywhere you go now, everybody's talking about 50 shades of gray. So if you want to be the latest fashion, nothing better than a dominatrix look. So this week will be all about a dominatrix look. So this is the wig I created for this look. If you wanna see how I did it, stay tuned. So I got this very old wig of mine that I never used. Believe me, this was just there for ages and I think I used once, but I think it was missing something. Uh, the wig is fine, but I wanted to transform it. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut a little bit more the bangs. If you want to learn how I do it, I'm gonna post down below in the description box a video, an old video of mine showing how to cut the bangs and to get it right. So it's not difficult. Basically, you must be really, really patient and just take your time and do it slowly. You know, I'm not a professional hairdresser, but I always try to create new things. So that's it. Now you give it a good brush. As you can see, it's a quite a long hair, but give it a good brush. And after you start putting apart some um, parts, you, you will separate in small sections and use something to keep the hair apart. And you start with the first one. I'm going to use a medium roll to, to roll it but uh, it's up to you, you can use a little bit bigger than that and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna roll it to more or less a half of the way and I will do it really um, tight and narrow so it's going to keep it, the hair really rolled and you will do it all the way you go to the next section and you do the same thing and try to follow the same length. And you do the third one, the fourth one, and always keeping in mind that it must be really tight. Now, if you are interested in how I transform other wigs, I will post down in the description box other videos uh, that I show and how I transform uh, curly wigs and it's funny because you can learn other techniques. This is it. All the rolls are done and uh, I will get ready for the next step. You're going to boil some water. Enough water to drop your wig and uh, I will cook my wig. You don't need to leave it too long. You just drop several times like a tea bag. And that's it. Be really careful when you do that. Don't get burned. And uh, this is it. This is not difficult. Just drop four or five times and the magic will act. And after that, you're gonna leave your wig drying. I normally leave it in my bathroom till the next day. And you are done your wig is ready. Now you just undo the rolls and get ready because your dominatrix wig is done. Now you can use it and you can have fun because this is the new fashion thing. And if there is a party, you can be the queen of the party with this dominatrix look. So all this wig will be about dominatrix. I'm going to prepare a new look, a new makeup and a new video, so you just stay tuned. As you can see, it works like magic. This is really a classic dominatrix look. And it, you see, it's not difficult. It was really, really easy. Now be careful if the quality of your wig is too cheap. I mean, if it's really plastic, 
be careful when you work with the boiled water because it can really destroy the wig. So if it's a plastic one, I don't recommend you to do that because afterwards you're going to say, wow, I just followed your instructions and it didn't work. It was like uh, really bad, you are terrible. So if your wig is too cheap, don't do it. But with another kind of uh, fibers, it works. So that's it, my friends. Your gorgeous wig is ready. And with this look, you can rock any party. So please, if you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, to leave a comment, share my video and thumb it up. Because when you do that, you do help me a lot. So thank you very much, my friends. You take care and I see you very, very soon. Bye bye.